Jared Mays, Indian Motorcycle Wrecking Crew. I've been with the uh, Indian Motorcycle team uh, since I think 2016. Uh, the FTR 750 was born and bred that year and uh, I was the first guy to test ride the bike and was uh, under contract with him for racing it in 2017. Man, there's been a lot of really good highlights actually for me this season. Um, you know, the beginning of the season started off pretty rocky for me with my injury. So the highlights have been crawling back each race and getting the wins and putting myself in contention for the championship. My lowest point in the season is what I just addressed was the the uh, crash early in the year due to training and, and hurting my knee really bad to the point where I didn't know if I was even going to have a season. So that was by far the absolute lowest point. The summary of the season for me is uh, we started off uh, Barberville the opening round with a 3-1 leading the points and then quickly after that I got injured and been suffering for a little uh, suffered for about three or four months racing and then we started putting together some really good results getting back healthy and you know recently knocking out four consecutive wins on the miles and uh, you know coming back from 34 points so uh, for me that's my summary. My name is Dean Young and I am the Indian Motorcycle Flat Track Race Team Manager. I started this job in 2017, spring of 2017, uh, when we took on Brad Baker, Brian Smith, and Jared Meese. Uh, let's see, my favorite part of the 2021 season so far is probably uh, the Port Royal race where Breyer came from the back, got a bad start, and uh, ended up winning the thing with a couple laps to go. That was pretty awesome. A low point from this season was probably when Jared got hurt and uh, kind of fumbled around Atlanta and a couple other tracks. Uh, you never want to see a rider get hurt, so that was, uh, that was a huge bummer, but at least he came back. I'm Michelle DeSalvo and I do all the preparation for Briar's Bikes and a lot of other little things and that's what I do. I think the highlight of the season is we, we were able to get the bike to run a little better and, and you can see it on Breyer's riding that he's just way more aggressive than he was able to be before and it's, it's really a good feeling to get involved and, and make everything better and, and see the results. We haven't had a low point for me because I mean we've been progressing all year and, and things have been going good and I mean maybe the miles weren't the greatest but we learned some stuff and we're always moving forward. I try to keep everything medium and, and on, on, the, on the same level so I don't have an up and a down And because as a mechanic you, you can't make a mistake so you have to keep everything even all the time so I, I try not to be surprised about anything. This year a lot of people, especially at SNS, have come forward and done a lot of great things with this motorcycle and I mean there's, there's a lot of guys to list back at the shop and, and they, they've done an outstanding job and that's that's been the greatest part of the season is the progression that we've made. I'm Briar Bauman. I race with the Indian Motorcycle Wrecking Crew in the American Flat Track Series. I've been with Indian Motorcycle for three years now. My highlight of this season is probably winning Lima Half Mile. That was a good race. It was a really hard, really fun, um, good battle. So to win at Lima is one of the hardest tracks to win at. So highlight of my season is that one for sure. A low point of the season, probably New York Short Track. Uh, I ended up having a mechanical uh, halfway through the race and I actually took six but as I went across the line my, my bike broke it blew up and as bummed as I want to be and called a low we got really fortunate it could have broke you know on the white flag lap and the race could have been over so it's a low but at the same time still really fortunate to come away with a six rather than you know a 15th or whatever the case may have been so low but not that low fortunately Oh, man, my biggest surprise this year has probably been all the rainouts. I uh, I can't handle them. They're they're too much for us. We like to we like to race, and we've had what three of them already. And you know, ideally we don't have one here this weekend in Charlotte. But uh, probably big surprise is just the rain. We just we want to race, and we haven't had the chance to. My season this year, a little summary. It's just been drawn out. I uh, I feel like it's just taken forever. Unfortunately, we've had so many long breaks and. It's been great. I think we've podiumed every race that we've finished, uh, maybe except for one or two, um, but that's like 16 rounds. So it's been really good, but it just seems like it's really taken forever. So I, uh, ideally I like to get rolling and keep the races going and, and get done. Um, and it just really seems like we've had a lot of breaks and a lot of, a lot of time off, which is tough as a motorcycle racer because you're always looking forward to the next one. So if we could uh, have a little bit less gap between rounds for next time, it would be great. 
Hi, I'm David Zanotti, uh, crew chief for the Indian team. I've been working with Indian and the race team for three seasons and working with uh, Briar Bauman. One of the highlights of the season is uh, when Briar won uh, Lima, Ohio. It's a historical half mile cushion and uh, yeah, he rode extremely well and we, he we really wanted to win it and we succeeded and everything worked out really well that night. Let's see, the low points of the season, huh? Um, yeah, well, as Michelle mentioned, uh, you know, obviously the races that we didn't win were the, you know, were the low points and uh, the few malfunctions we might have encountered, the rain outs, you know, those are all, you know, turned into positives and, and we just move on. To summarize the 2021 season, we had a few setbacks and a few races that we didn't perform as well as we would like. But uh, we're looking forward to 2022 and coming back extremely strong and uh, pursuing it at our best.